Well, here we have a little addition problem, so <clears throat> let's read it and see what it's about. A machinist needs the following lengths of 1 inch diameter rod, 8 inches, 14 inches, 6 inches, 27 inches, and 42 inches. How long a rod is required to supply all five pieces? Well, the diameter isn't an issue, it's the length of the rod. So let's just label these lengths 8 inches, 14 inches, 6 inches, and 27 inches, and 42 inches. And so there's any number of ways to do this, but a fun way I find is, look, 14 and 6, that's 20. Anytime you add 4 and 6, you get 10, so 14 and 6 is 20, so that's an easy combination. And let's see, we can combine these two. So 20 and 40 is 60, and 7 and 2 is 9, so that must be 69. And these are inches and inches. And so I guess we have our friend Mr. 8 inches. And now let's combine these two and we get 28 inches. That's easy enough and nothing's going on here. So now we have 69 inches. So now let's just combine these two. And I would say if we add 2 and 6 we get 8. So that's 80. And 8 and 9 is 17, so 17 and 80 is 97 inches, and that's the length. One way to do it. Well, here we have a <coughs> subtraction problem, so let's read it. An electronic mixer can produce a signal with frequency equal to the difference between two input signals. Now listen, the reason you know it's subtraction is because they use the word difference. If the input signals have frequencies of 1,350,000 and 850,000 hertz, calculate the frequency differences. So we just have to subtract. So we've got 1, 3, 5, oh, and 3 more zeros, and then 850. And three more zeros, 850,000. We'll do a little subtraction. Well, we know one, two, three, we're going to have three there, zero, zero. Hey, we're going to have a fourth zero right here. And five from five is zero, so all we have left is 13 and 8. And the difference in 13 and 8 is 5, because 5 plus 8 is 13. And so it looks like we've got a big 500,000. And what is that? Hertz? Yeah. H-E-R-T-Z. Got her. Well, now it's multiplication time. So an auto body shop does 17 paint jobs at a special price of $859 each. How much money does a shop receive from these jobs? Well, I guess we multiply 890 or excuse me 859 dollars times 17. Well, I you know, you can use your calculator with this and I don't have any problem with that, but I'm going to do it a little different. So I've got 17 times in place of 859 I'll put 800 plus 50 uh plus uh, 9. And now let's see what we get. We'll keep track of this. As I said, you can use your calculator. It's not a big deal. But anyhow, 9 times 17. Well, let's see, 10 times 17 is 170. And if I take 17 away, that would be uh, uh, 153, wouldn't it? So 1, 5, 3. And we'll just check that out. 9 times 7 is 63, and 9 times 1 is 9 plus uh, uh, 6 is uh, 15. Now let's multiply 17 times 50. 
Well, I know 17 times 0 is 0, and 17 times 5. Well, 5 times 7 is 35, and 5 times 10 is uh, 50, and the sum of those, 35 and 50, is 85. Oh boy, I'm running out of pen here. And let's see, now let's multiply uh, 17 times 800. Well, we know we need a couple of zeros there, and now we're just talking about 17 times 8. Well, 7 times 8 is uh, 56, and 7, uh, and we've got a 5 left over, and 10 times 8 is 80, plus 5 is 85, 85. So let's double check that multiplication. So if I multiply 10 times uh, 800, I get 8,000. Oh boy, I think we've got a little problem here right now. Show my mistakes. If we multiply 10 times 800, we get 8,000. And 7 times 8 is 56. And so uh, 8 and 5 is 13. I think I should have a 13,600. Uh, yeah, that sounds more like it. Let's try it one more time. 800, 10 of them is 8,000. Another 7 800s are 5,600. And we add 5,600 and 8,000 together. And yep, there we get it. 13,600. Let's add these. I get 3. 5 and 5 is 10. 1 and 1 is 2, and 8 is 10, 16, 3 and 1 is 4, and so I get, uh, uh, how much money does he make? Well, he, or he takes in, that's the amount right there, $14,603. Well, what follows multiplication, division, and that's what we have. So if rafters are placed in uh, 24 inches, inches, excuse me, on uh, center, that's what OC means, how many are required for both sides of a gable roof? That is 576 inches long. Add one rafter on each side for a starter. So, you know, we have rafters on both sides of the roof, center line, and so we have to start with two rafters, one on each side, and that's what they mean there. So, anyhow, we know we have to divide uh, 24 into 5, 7, 6. So what times, uh, 24 times 2 will get us as close as we're going to get to 57. That's 2 times 24 is 48. Now we'll subtract 8 and what is, uh, uh, let's see, I'll have to borrow 1 from the 5, and so 8 and 9 is... Uh, uh, oh, eight and nine, excuse me, yeah, eight and nine is uh, 17, and then we'll bring down the six, yeah, eight plus nine is 17, then we'll bring down the six, and let's see, what times 24 is Closest we're going to get to 96, well, I would say 4 is, and 4 times 24 is 96. And, hey, we've got it made here. So that's going to be 24 uh, rafters. rafters on one side. So that's going to be... To cover both sides, we need 48 rafters, plus we need two starters, so that's going to add up to 50 rafters altogether. And we got her. Well, here's our final problem for chapter one. So a pregnant woman gained four pounds per month during her, during her first trimester, three months of pregnancy. Uh, 
three pounds per month during her second trimester and two pounds per month during her last trimester, what was her total weight gain during the pregnancy? Well, let's see, that's four pounds, LBS, per month times three months. And we'll make a chart equals. And then she had uh, three pounds per month during the next trimester. So three pounds, LBS, per month times three months and finally two pounds per month per month during her final trimester which is three months and notice the months divide out the months divide out the months divide out and this equals and equals and three times four is twelve LBS and 3 times 3 is 9 pounds and 2 times 3 is 6 pounds let's add them up and we'll know how much weight she gained during the pregnancy so let's see 9 and 6 is uh, 15 and 15 and 12 I get 27 pounds don't you yeah that's going to be 21 and 6 is 27. Hey, we got it. She gained 12, 27 pounds.